Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I started filming and then I realized that I'm not done with this. So I thought maybe we can have a little chit chat before we start because I need to finish it. So in today's video, we are going to learn how to use ThingLink or ThingLink. No, it's ThingLink. It's such an interesting tool. I really love it because I like to create different stations in my session and putting all of these stations in one platform is such a time saver. Mm. I can hear a lot of people are just unsubscribing right now. All right, so now off topic, but I just want to tell you that you guys are so lucky that I take my videos on the weekend, not on weekdays, because I don't look like that. I'm pretty sure that a lot of teachers can relate to me in this matter, right? Like we don't, we barely have time to dress up and go to school, honestly. And if we are teaching online, we barely have time to. We don't have time for anything. Anyways, I'm done with my coffee. Let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Hala. As I said previously, today we are going to learn how to use ThingLink. I have like, I need a second to remember its name. ThingLink to support our teaching. We will start by going to www dot thingling.com write your names your emails press on create account here you have three options you can choose from you have editorial and marketing you have classroom learning and you have corporate training we are going to choose classroom learning did you guys notice that most of these online tools could be used for different purposes it's not like you should only use them for education so you non-educators you can also watch my videos and benefit from them write your name choose your role uh, write the school's name, where it is located, and the type of the school. Is it only for elementary, high school, university, college? And then choose the subject that you teach. And press on Get Started. So now you're going to choose which type of interactive content you want to create. You have lots of options, as you can see. I've, I've tried only two or three, but today we're going to try 360 image or virtual learning. Press on 360 library. These are some ready-made not ready-made these are some available images or 360 images that you can use this is what i love about these tools when they have something that you can build on i'm not saying content definitely i do believe that each teacher should uh, create his or her own content but what i'm saying is it would be really nice to have something that you can start with maybe a template that you can use a background design or these uh, kind of images that you see now so you might find the image that you want in these options or you might want to upload your own it depends in this case i think we're gonna use aurora lights uh, we worked on this with my grade three students and i think um, i just chose it randomly so in order to use these images you need to copy the image and edit on it so we're gonna clone this image and this is how it looks like super cool as i said before if you want your learners to complete different tasks during the same session and you don't want them to go and open different tabs you can put them all together on this platform so this is what we're going to do today we're going to create two stations and the learners uh, are going to use this tool to learn about aurora lights press on the pencil button to edit the image and now we have add tags we have settings we have done we're gonna go to add tags and these are the four things that you can do you can either add text and media you can either add text label add content from website and create tour we're gonna focus on the first one since this is like it has everything and i like to use it so we're gonna use it so we're gonna start with station one add tag the title is station one what are aurora lights the description we're going to write in this station, you will click on the link below in order to watch a video about Aurora Lights. Once you are done, search for Padlet's icon, press on it to answer a couple of questions. So basically, the students are going to do two things. They are going to watch a video about Aurora Lights. I'm going to post the link in the same box so that they all they have to do is just click on the link and it will take them to YouTube. They will watch the video. Later, they will find the icon on this image that has uh, the name of Padlet and all they have to do is press on it and it will take them to Padlet so that they can answer questions related to the video that they watched. Super easy and simple. All right, we're gonna write in the bottom text, click here to watch the video because we need to make it very clear 
where they have to click because you will end up having kids asking you miss where do i have to click miss where is the link so i try to make it as clear as possible so that we don't get these kinds of questions you can also add an image uh just to make it more visual so now they have station one ready we're going to change the icon i like these icons here because you have different options that you can use and they can give you a hint what the activity will be about. So we're gonna choose the one that says, that has a video uh, image so that they know that in this station, they're gonna watch a video. We can change the color. We're gonna choose red. And this is how it appears on the image. Now we are going to add another tag so that we can add Padlet to it. So we're gonna choose add text and media. The title is Padlet. The description is after you are done watching the video, press on the link below in order to answer a couple of questions related to the video that you watched or related to Aurora Lights. So we're going to go to Padlet to copy the link. Now, this is what I created. If you are interested to know how to use Padlet and you really want to learn how to use it, you can visit the link up and you can watch the video that I created it was actually my first video on YouTube and it was like three weeks ago, I think. So watch it and learn how to use it. I'm not going to talk about it here in depth because I already did that before. I'm going to just tell you, I'm going to read quickly the questions. What are Aurora lights? How are they formed? How do these lights affect living things? Explain by providing examples. Have you ever seen or experienced, experienced actually here, uh, there's something wrong, natural phenomenon not a natural phenomenon around you if yes write about the experience if no which natural phenomenon would you like to explore and why again i'm not focusing neither on the activity nor on the content i'm just focusing on the tool that will help you facilitate your teaching copy the link put it in the bottom url write the bottom text <laughs> click here to visit padlet we can add an image just to make it more visual now here by the way you can upload icon that has the padlet logo so that they can actually see padlet on the screen they press on it and it will take them to padlet however i wasn't able to do that honestly because the picture has to be very very small and i don't really i'm not gonna waste time on this so i decided to choose a random uh, icon that shows somehow that this is a picture that you're gonna see and you're gonna click on it and visit padlet doesn't really make sense but it's fine you can place it whatever you want you can drag it 360 degrees we are going to create our second station now the learners are going to read an article and complete the thinking routine very simple and easy every time i create a video i say this is simple this is easy very simple very easy i make it look like as if education is super simple and easy it is not anyways so the title is station two read an article and the description is read an article about aurora lights use the thinking routine sentence phrase word to complete the task choose a sentence that you find meaningful select a phrase that moved or provoked you choose a word that captured your attention i like this thinking routine by the way on a side note because it kind of forces the person to read the whole article so we're gonna copy the link from the article and post it in the bottom url and add an image if you want bottom text is click here to read an article and they can just read the article you will choose an icon i will choose the one that shows a book because it will kind of tell them or show them that they are gonna read something press on done so as you can see now you created two stations and you put all the activities in one platform how cool is that and it is a 360 image that makes you feel as if you are virtually there so all you have to do is copy the link or you can also share or scan the qr code with them and they can and they just like paste the link and they will have access to this and they can complete their activities from there that's it. Thank you all for watching. I really enjoyed filming this YouTube video because I love this tool and obviously I'm more comfortable with the camera. And um, next time I'm going to be talking about another online tool that I really, really love, but I'm not going to tell you what. Stay tuned. 
If you are interested to learn more how to use online tools in teaching and how to support your teaching with different digital resources, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and share my videos. Thank you. Bye.